everyone so today is the 1st of December so that means we have an update video for this weight loss journey I just wanted to speak a little bit about how this month or previous month has gone for us we've had a fair few hiccups along the way nothing that has thrown us off the bandwagon at all it's just kind of hung us off the edge a wee bit We've had, uh, unfortunately, an injury at the beginning of November. My partner dislocated his shoulder, which has meant we are not been able, have not been able to go to the gym. So we have been still walking, and he has joined me on the stairs, which has been awesome. And we've just been really trying to watch as best we could our eating. Uh, this month has been probably the biggest month in testing us. It's only like the second month in. So the test has really been, you know, the test temptation has really been strong. We've, um, you know, fought with trying not to eat bad things. We've not been able to go to the gym. Him, unfortunately, not being able to work either. And just generally a big curveball in this journey right at the beginning. Usually the luck for us, it's how everything goes. But we've seemed to have come out of it all right. I mean, going into weighing myself and measuring myself today, I was so hesitant and so scared of the results because of the lack of being able to work out and the lack of like eating, motivation to eat healthy when we've got an in one injured partner, two kids, and trying to get life just going along smoothly. You know, it is. And it just shows you that it's real. We're not, you know, some professional person who has heaps and heaps and heaps of help or, you know, we don't have all this money and all this stuff to make everything look perfect. It's just the real, like the real side of things. And it's okay for hiccups and stuff like that to happen. And it's just how you work with them and how you um, progress forward. So if we backtrack a little bit, the beginning of the month, my partner had the injury to his shoulder. We have not been able to go to the gym and we've been eating relatively good. I mean, we haven't had anything like bad. We did, though. We did learn how to make uh, the homemade Big Macs. They were really good, considering how bad the other ones are. They were really nice. And that was a cheat meal. It was nice to be able to still have the cheat meals while eating healthy and still giving ourselves something to look forward to. They were awesome. Really recommend making them. You know, you don't even have to waste your money going to that uh, shop to get them. You can make them at home and they are just as good, if not better. I didn't feel yuck afterwards. We felt awesome afterwards, you know, just having a, a Big Mac homemade was awesome. Such a cool cheat meal. Um, and the only other, I think, creepy thing we had was fish and chips, maybe once or twice. And it wasn't like we used to, you know, we used to get a couple of items each and then a whole heap of chips covered in salt, you know. It was moderate and portion controlled, which was awesome. Um, another huge achievement for the previous month is, if you've seen on my social media accounts, you'll see that... Um, I have been continuing to do the stairs, my partner has joined me, and I managed to achieve jogging down the stairs and running up them each way. So that is a huge achievement for me. I started off with going, carrying my son and going up, down and up again, and then progressively started doing that a couple of times and then three times. And now I wasn't wearing my son, he was in his pram because his dad did come along with me and we took turns about and I managed to be able to you know jog down and run up it's a huge achievement and made me feel real awesome and it showed me that we are on the right track and things are getting better my body's starting to really be able to work properly and give me the strength to run um my partner also managed to be able to jog up and we do skip stairs is a wee pusher to, you know, really give you a good workout, which is an awesome achievement for him as well. You know, he hasn't been doing the stairs as long as I have because he works. Uh, generally, when it, obviously, well, he's, when he's not injured, he's at work. So it has been a huge eye-opener to show, even though we're not able to go to the gym or anything like that because it is quite a severe injury, um, we are still trying to keep up as much fitness as we possibly can with uh, walking and doing the stairs. 
so if I have a look at my book here, you'll remember my journal, um, I have October's measurements, November's, and then December's. Um, obviously these are from months before, so this is for, I measured myself on the 4th of October, measured myself on the 1st of November, and then I've measured myself today being the 1st of December. Um, if we, I'll start off with it. November's again to show you just a month's comparison. So my left arm was 33.5 and my right arm was 32.8. Uh, my bust was 110 centimeters and my waist was 98. My tummy was 114 and my bottom 110.5. My left thigh was 66.8 and so was my right thigh. And my hips were 108.5 and that is, so that's November's. Now, going into December, given everything that's gone on, you know, not being able to exercise, and, you know, when we're both at home and my partner is injured, and, you know, we have two kids as well, so trying to be able to still do everything relatively normal and get things and prepare things is still, it's really, it is really hard, and you find that you are leaning more towards the easier options. But... Given that, you know, as mentioned, we did have our cheap meals and we did still continue to eat really healthy. And it shows in the results. So my left arm for December is 31.2. My right arm is 32. My bust was 110, so no change there. My waist is 93. My tummy is 110.4. My bottom is 111. My left thigh is 65.5, my right thigh is 64.5, and my hips is 107.5. So there's been some small changes there. Some really good ones, are like my waist for one, was a good four or five centimetres change, you know. That is still a good change in fat around there. Um, I can see there's been probably a little bit of muscle loss more than fat loss in ways, I can um, feel it as well, I can't feel them as strong as I had prior to this month, but that's okay, you know, I, as mentioned, I haven't been able to work out like I would have been if I was at the gym, and that just goes to show that over such a short amount of time, you can lose just about, not all your work, but all the hard, you know, the hard work, but it doesn't mean that it's over, you'll get back there, and it may be easier to get back there because you'll have the less fat as long as you keep going. Um, I started off at 91 kg, so when I weighed in on October 4th, um, I was 91 kg, and weighing in for December I am 86.2, so there is a 4.8 kg loss in two months, which is awesome. When I started this journey, I was in contact with an awesome chick who uh, we had on a plan there that I would be losing roughly about 500 grams a week, because if you lose it too fast, it can be easier to put on. We're looking at 500 grams weekly, so I'm 100 above that. It doesn't mean that I'm losing exactly 600 every week. It just means over average, if we split that 4.8 up, I have lost that over the eight weeks, which is a huge achievement for me. I am the lightest that I've been in, well, I think, two. I weighed in at 75 kg when I fell pregnant with my daughter. So this is the lightest that I've been uh, since, gosh, since probably just 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 after falling pregnant with my son so I'm pretty chuffed slow but steady I can see the changes in my pictures I haven't actually decided I have been really thinking about it and I haven't decided whether I will share them yet um, not because of I don't want to or anything I'm still just a wee bit self-conscious about them I might look at doing them around the six month mark but if I do share them it'll probably I'll let you know. I have changed my face, my arms, my body has changed quite a lot. I don't know how what I've lost has only weighed that much, but I can definitely feel it as well. I can definitely feel the change in my body. So I am stoked and absolutely chuffed with what we have achieved over this month, given that it's been a pretty rough month. Still shows that the small 
changes and the small things that we were doing are still benefiting our bodies. So absolutely thrilled. I can't wait for the next month because hopefully we find out, fingers crossed tomorrow, what will be going on with my partner's shoulder and then getting the okay to hopefully get back to work for him and get back into the gym would be awesome. I can only see really, you know, him being able to build it up is the only way that it's going to strengthen it. But, you know, there has been talk of a surgery. So it's just all up in the air at the moment. But I'm thrilled and absolutely chuffed to get this next uh, month underway. It is Christmas this month, so that is a huge, a huge um, obstacle there. Uh, going in, you know, there's lots of food and there's lots of, you know, chilling out with family and stuff. But it's, I guess it's how you go about it, how you prepare for that. So I am excited to, you know, of course, enjoy my enjoy my Christmas. You know, it's all that yummy food and stuff, but it's also remembering moderation. So portion control, moderation. I can still enjoy everything that's there. It's just picking things and sizes and really thinking about what I'm consuming and how I'm going to reward myself afterwards and reward myself during as well. I, You know, it's not going to hurt to be able to enjoy some Christmas food. You have to be lenient on yourself too you can't always be super super strict because you'd go like insane you need to treat yourself too and then reward yourself for making better decisions or you know would reward yourself with a nice walk you know christmas is in summertime here in new zealand so it is absolutely generally beautiful weather right through from christmas through to new year i just look forward to spending it as well with my family my partner's family and um, our children. We have two this year, so that's awesome. I can't wait to, you know, see especially our two and a half year old's face on Christmas Day with the tree and some prezzies. And, you know, we go to visit Santa this week to get um, photos. She's looking forward to that. I actually think that she's looking forward to it, but she'll get a bit of a, a fright when she actually sees him and she may not actually want to sit with him, which is cool. We're prepared to jump in and um, sit with her while she talks to Santa and while we get some photos done. But that's enough from me. I hope that you have enjoyed hearing the results for this month. As I've said, heaps, I'm absolutely chuffed. I can't wait for the next one to come through and see where we're at in the start of Jan. So have a good week, guys. Enjoy your Christmas. If I don't talk to you before then, uh, if you know me personally, uh, it is 25 days till Christmas, so get on to your shopping, get working out, and let's get some goals reached and some rewards given. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.